Muhammad Hilal. His love for firewood started a long time ago. He was enjoying it with his family. Now, started a new business, Twin Cities Firewood. Sharing his passion for firewood with his customer, I went to his place and I asked him, how did it all start? I started 25 years ago uh, just uh, as a tree service and uh, I was cutting wood and um, in fact you cut the wood, load it up in a truck and you actually pay money to get rid of it. I started processing some firewood for my own fireplace at my own house and I found it a, a very interesting. What makes a successful business is a I like what I'm doing and I'm dedicated to the idea. So what I do offer is I deliver seven days a week. The first couple of years I learned that I have to keep the kind of wood separate because people ask for a specific kind of wood. Uh, in the warm weather, like in the early fall or spring, they ask for birch because it doesn't produce a lot of heat but it sparks, the bark sparks. Uh, the customer is looking for clean wood and dry wood and clean is more important than dry because there's three things that you can check the fire with if it's dry or not number one it would have no bark or peeling bark like this You have cracks on the side, and number three, uh, any wood would take uh, anything between uh, one to two years to dry, to be burnable easily. In the summer, you know, the winter in Minnesota is, you know, stay after school in the uh, family room, doing the homework, it gets dark early. So the first thing you need to do is have the fireplace on. Usually get, uh, I, you know, it was frustrating for me when I started the business that every single person asked me, is your wood dry? When was the last time you went to a restaurant and asked him, is your food cooked? <laughs> it's very personal mm -hmm. how, how often you, uh, you burn and how long do you stay in the front of the fireplace or it varies a lot. It, 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 I, I used to get scared when, you know, I said gas fire wood yeah. and stuff, but trust me, most of the people who have gas fire uh, place, those are the customers that you want to enjoy the natural fire in the backyard. <laughs> Buying oak in the middle of the summer, it's one of two things. You're either cooking with it or smoking, or you have a pizza oven, or they actually boil the maple syrup. Actually the most difficult thing with the customer relationship about the wood is how to measure the volume of the wood. So uh, it takes a lot of education. Um, the measurement for wood is the cord and 15 out of my 10 customers don't know what the cord is or they use the word cord for instead of saying some. So the we need a cord of wood. Actually, what they need to say is we need some wood. Measurements of wood, which is a cord, which is a lot of wood. It's four feet by four feet by eight feet. In the winter, we put the wood in the, in the family room. So you, you don't want to see like worms or dirt or anything, uh, you know, uh, uh, pieces of wood that's uh, out of shape. We uh, promised uh, dry wood. The wood was dry, was delivered. It's good, good kind, oak, usually. And uh, never been disappointed in Muhammad. It's clean quality firewood that's delivered to your house, uh, touch free. I'll, I'll show up to your address. You look at the wood, and if you don't like it, no sweat. It'll never happen. It is a promise from Muhammad Hilal. It is a promise from Twin Cities Firewood. Muhammad Hilal, now on the top of the wood.